Alright guys, how's it going? It's Saren here, and today we're back here with some more The Last Remnant. So now we're going to be heading to the cave, since we couldn't really find an answer in the last episode. Let us go to the shops quick first, so we can actually get some, um... Items? Yeah, I need to get... Pop out a sword here. Just so I can put this on my offhand as well. So now I've got two katanas. Tell you. Alright, I don't think I can buy any armor yet. So let's just carry on with the game for now until we unlock more stuff. But oh, the caves are now accessible. Let's go. Let's do it. So yeah, just like in the last episode, I'm going to be skipping the fights. I'm going to show the one fight, and obviously if you've seen that particular fight, I'm going to just skip past it so it's not getting too tedious. I hope that's not bothering some of you guys. If it is, do let me know in the comments. Listen up, Rush, you can have the upper hand if you can in initiate battles instead of being ambushed. Wait, obviously. Yeah, I know. And it's always good to fight as many monsters as possible at the same time. What? That sounds dangerous. The bigger the risk, the bigger the big reward. That's what I say. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do you mean? Look, let's just try it, okay? Let's go. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Here's the map of the area. You don't have any excuse for getting lost, alright? Let's get out of here. Okay then. The more monsters fought in one battle, the better the chances to earn rewards. Although there'd be more risk involved, there may be unexpected rewards. They came the map. So it's pretty much a straight road to be fair. Do we need a map for this area? When we all enemy fight at once, we get more rewards. Let's have a go. The monsters here are pretty weak to poundings. So let everyone who sticks to physical attacks will be in the clear. Of course, me here, you'd be winging anyway. Hmm, let's give it a shot. Alright, let's move. When we direct units to do physical attacks, so they'll attack with their equipped weapon of form, combat arts. You can learn different combat arts depending on your wheel type, so try different combinations and see what happens. Okay. Got two units. Take out one each. It's you and me then. Let's bust some head. Let's back him up because he's on his own. Which I'm confused about, to be, to be honest with you. Why are you on your own? Sweet. HP has grown. Alright, can I put different party members in different places? I guess not. I don't really see how I can move him. Michigan issues since blockers not really our allies, more of the kings. Maybe we, that's probably why. I'm not too sure. We'll figure it out as we go along, I'm sure. Alright, this way is a dead end. Let's explore this way, see Let's what we can do. This. Alright, down you go. Sweet. Alright, speed's gone up as well. So there is like some sort of level system, but it's obviously the more you fight, the more you get better stuff, rather than actual levels.
300 G. I wouldn't mind taking all your money. Right, let's continue down the proper path. Another chest. There's a load of chests in this cave. Let's do this. No, I tried to get the third one in. Because as I said in the start of the episode, I am going to be skipping past fights we have already seen to make it a little less tedious. You're not seeing fight after fight after fight, unless it's an important fight. What are all these girls doing in a place like this? Oh man, could it be that? Oh. What do you think you're doing? Oh. So you're that group then, the gang of thugs that's supposed to be running around slave trading? Slaves? Who the hell are you people? We don't have to introduce ourselves to the likes of you! Get ready! I'm gonna smash your faces in! Rush! You want a piece too? Let's do it. Oh yeah! Bring it on! <laughs> whatever! It's your funeral! Get ready for a beatdown! Alright, boss time. Ish. Unless it's just like a mini mini fight. Defeat the slave traders. Okay, it is class of the boss. Let's try and take out the other guys first. If we can just leave the boss, it'll be a lot better for us. Healed up when I can. Right. Bring it on. All right, sweet. Here you go. Give it your best, boys. Ground, boys. I need to help him soon. He looks like he's kind of surrounded between the boss and the other unit. Now uh, you heal. Even if it goes wrong for him, I can have, at least have you still. There we go. Boss is down. Sweet. Learn Devil's Jew. I don't know how to thank you and your master, Lord Blocky, enough. Master? The hell? Okay, we're already at the end. That was that was quite Let's simple. Oh, wrong button again. So from the look of your face, I can tell you didn't find your sis. Thinking about where we are and why. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, there's no point getting all down about it, right? Come on, let's head back to Aphelium. Aff let's do it, man. So here, but this game is probably 45 hours it. long. For the main story alone. So I know this right. is going to be a quite long let's play. So we need to start learning how to play this game quite quickly. <laughs> Otherwise we're kind of bollocked. Alright, we've done both objectives. A slave trading syndicate and anti-remnant terrorists. Lovely. 
And to think, while we were fighting beastmen, those fiends were doing as they pleased. We are already looking into this, Lord David. You should not trouble yourself further. More importantly, we have learned of something else similarly troubling. Well, where was she learn? Multiple sources have reported seeing a bright light flash across the sky. A flash? Every so often, remnants emit light. It's called luminescence. The light could have been luminescence from the Valeria Heart, or the gay bulb reflected on the clouds. Ah, but the Valeria Heart and the gay bulb are bound. They have not seen a luminescence in a long, long while. Then maybe a different remnant. That light moved as if it possessed a mind of its own. Very different from luminescence, to be sure. Then a flying monster. So it would seem. Where was the light headed? Towards Dilmore. Let's go. Fine. You four take Rush and head to Dilmore immediately. It seems we're up against a flying remnant. No way! That's, that's impossible! The Why is it? The research on newly discovered remnants may be ongoing, but they have never announced a remnant with the power of flight. No. It must be a remnant. No other possibility makes sense. Now we're up against a group that has its hands on an unknown remnant. Choose your battles with discretion. Retrieving Arena is top priority. Yes, yes my lord. lord. Don't sweat it, Dave. We're the good guys. We'll definitely get Arena back. <laughs> Alright, we have our mission. I haven't looked anything new yet though. I don't think so. It's all gonna end with squads that join the party. Rush, we should not waste any time. Let's rescue Mr. Arena as soon as possible. I can say something to him apparently. Rush wanna go to do more alongside my generals. Be careful. I should do just that. Let's check in at the shop, make sure he's not got any more items we can use. No, I'm still not the same sort of stuff. Let us make a move then. Alright, Delamora. Let's go. But now we've got more units, which means it might be a bit more difficult. Combat wise, because it's going to get quite confusing. Lady M reports that you have your tail talisman holds mysterious power. Yeah, it does. What? You think she's lying? Lady M is an honest person. I have no reason to doubt her. So this power? Can it be used outside of battles? What do you mean? Can you show me its power now? Hmm, I don't know. I can try though. What just happened? I see. It holds the power to ma manipulate time. Proper application to of such power will be a, give us a clear advantage when battling monsters, as well as allow you to engage many foes in battle at once. However, it is almost certain that such power cannot be applied indefinitely. Use it wisely. Alright, we've got a new ability then. Time shift is now available. Press blah 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 to time shift slowing the flow of time for a short while. When in time shift, nearby enemies be marked as encounterable. Pressing that in the time shift will launch a battle with all marked monsters. Oh, I done that way too early. Let's do this. All right, nice. I'm gonna like this um, ability. The best defense is a good offense. Oh, there's only three of us. Okay, two two squads. At least no one's on their own this time. Oh, 
Oh, this dude's got four arms. I didn't notice two. I didn't even see the other two arms. I think the combat for now. Um, we should be fine for help. There's only one more, so let's just end it. Come on, finish them off. There's still plenty of power. HP has grown, check has grown. Mr. Guard, he left um, spot two. So these are actually craftable, it's just things I can sell. I don't have a map yet. I'm gonna guess that's what that is. Oh, what the hell. There's only one of them, though. Let's do this. Well, from the outside, anyway. Might be more units attached to it. The winner's the one who strikes first, yeah? Come! He's quite powerful. Nice, some doggos. Uh, capture monsters may split for components, however, in intact monsters may be sold in certain shops for high prices. Choose wisely. You can only get the choice to split a monster once. Once certain monsters have been sold to shops, those shops may have may begin selling trade goods. This must be split for components. Oh no 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 no. We'll save the monster itself for now. Until I actually know what the hell is going on in that regard. Uh, it seems like we need to be heading this way. Let's do this. How far are we traveling here? Look, I ain't actually got maps, so have I? No. Let's do this. I got um a teleport thing over there. I think it's either a teleport or a chest. Do we stay locked in now then? Let's have a quick gander. Let's do this. No, I think he was out of range. But at least I got to these two. The winner's the one who strikes first, yeah? No, I think we've seen these guys, so we obviously keep the fight in. Alright, everyone's leveling up like crazy at the minute. I know, he was a little bit far out of range. Let's go and take him take him out so Let's do this. not losing any experience. Alright, now I feel a lot more happier now that we ain't missed out on anything. Load of enemies there. That is a teleport, isn't it? It is, so... I just heard that clicking last minute. 
we'll take out these guys and then we'll decide what we're doing. Alright, that's taking them out. So let's have a quick gander down here. If, I'm going to assume this is just a, pretty much a dead end overall with one enemy apparently. Something weird happened in that one. We unlocked something like a freelancer. Where is she? There she is. Uh, I can't really check on what that means, but whatever it means, she's now a freelancer. That's all. That's that's, that's all the information I got. Let's do this. All right, I doubt it, but can we go into this building? The door is sealed shut. Okay, we can later on in the game, but just not as of yet. That's fine. So now it's meant to just head north then, the place where we should have went. Oh, what the hell is that thing on the cliff? There we go, something kicking off. This was once a prosperous town. It was centered around the remnant of peace, the rubber soul. Was there a war? No. The one the remnant was bound to passed away. The world is filled with countless remnants. No two look alike or share the same power. However, they all have one thing in common. What's that? And that is? When a remnant is not bound to a soul, it calls forth disastrous misfortune. This calamity is known as the Collapse. Shh! Hide yourselves! Have you found it? I see them. Two men. And a dark-haired little girl. No, oh, that's not gonna stop him. What did you do to her? This must be our cue. You probably could have had that if you actually planned it. What have you done? It's triggered another collapse! Here we go. Alright, mission to defeat the enemy. We're a bit, a bit outnumbered here. Um. See how this goes. Alright, one down. Uh, one's on standby. I'm in deadlock in a minute, so let's make use of it. 
One more? Yeah, one more unit. What are you doing? Oh, he's still standing. Holy shit. I'm glad you killed him now and then, otherwise that would have been bad for the other unit. Excellent. Sweet. That was you, level two. Got bravery. Good. Okay, just instantly back. <laughs> it was as you said, Lord David. The flying creature is unquestionably a remnant. Confirm this with the Academy. Yes, my lord. Who could be behind all this? We do not know enough at this point. Verily, this situation is more complex than we'd imagined. Yes. We should postpone any course of action until we know more. What about Arena? Should I just keep my fingers crossed? We are not dealing with an ordinary foe. A well-researched plan is essential. Dave, come on! Toggle is correct. No, you shouldn't be running into shit. Like what you did. We are dealing with forces that control a remnant not even the Academy knows about. Jumping to conclusions will only place Arthlam in danger. You must understand my position, Rush. Where are you going? To find Arena, obviously. You know how the people of Athlam are the most important things in your life? Well, Arena's the most important thing in mine. Well, thanks for the help along the way. I'll go it alone from here. Lord David, we still know nothing about his talisman. Perhaps we should have stopped him. You wouldn't Perhaps. have listened anyway. I am aware that we need more power, as the gay bog and Valeria heart won't suffice. The future of Athnum is at stake here. <sighs> Alright, so this uses me for personal gain by chance. Feeling better? You're a picky eater, huh? Sorry, the menu's not fit for a princess like you. Hey. Rush. Rush is dead. <laughs> No. 
Stop mourning the dead and eat your meal. You are vital to him. You should be honored. following the Lord's orders, as you should follow mine. Fine. Then give me some real orders. I'm sick of being a damn babysitter. As you wish. Let us go forth to the next remnant. It's up to summer, man. And at the minute, I can't really dictate what. I thought I could depend on those guys. Should have just done it myself in the beginning. No, they've taught you a lot, man. Combat wise and all that. But look how far I've got on my own. I guess I guess I do need other people help. Alright. The union board has been added to the party menu. Unions can now be created freely. There we go. The number the maximum number of unions in the party is now two. The maximum unit captivity per battle is now 3. The maximum of units in your party is now 10. Forgal and Emma's squads have been left party. Okay, let's have a quick gander at this then. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, at the minute we don't have anything. Set the formation. Formation decide the unit's position and location on the union board. Different formations can have different results in battle. Improves mobility of lead ranks, improves attacks of arrowhead and defense of flanks. Okay, leave it as is for now. Formation strength depends on the number of union performing it. Some characters are particularly effective in certain formations. Try different combinations and see what happens. Alright, as of now, we're only on our own, so... There's not much we can actually do at the current minute. What's wrong? You look lost. If it's for information you need, check out the pub. If you're looking to expand your party, check out the guild. Okay. So we're heading to the... This place. Now that we can actually unlock the guild again. Are you looking to expand your party? Employ units. Okay, we've got McGrady and Oaks. <laughs> Alright, let's get these added to our party. Resisting units on the union board, the topmost unit is named the leader and must be determined. The rest can be skipped. The union board has areas for lead ranks and back ranks. Okay, generally the front three rows are for the lead row ranks. But the rear are for the back ranks, okay? The lead ranks are best at dealing and defending against physical damage, while the back ranks are good for mystic attacks and defense. I need to swap his position, how do I do that? Alright, but at the very least we have our units. So... Let's go to the pub, see if we can get any information. And then let's go from there, I guess. Welcome back, cutie. Some girls have been coming, ra coming around here lately. All mysterious life, she's quite a stunner too. Can't compare to me, though. Ah, here we go. I found some hours in the pub, finally. I got lost for so long. I assume you heard about me from the pub employee. It's hard to escape gossip in such a place. 
I have a dilemma. I need to deliver a letter to someone. Unfortunately, that person has gone away to a monster-infested region, leaving me behind. I'd like someone to deliver the letter to him. Will you please help me? Sure. Thank you. I owe you so much. Here's the letter to deliver. The person I wanted to give this to should be at the entrance of the... Okay, ruins. If you leave the ruins, speak to me again. If you do not do so, the situation would change. You would lose sight of your original goal. Okay, a letter from home. By selecting quest from the party menu, you can check your current progress. So this is more of a side quest, I think, than anything else. Oh, hello. Wasn't expecting it just to throw me into that. Like I mean, is that the entrance? I'm assuming this is the guy I need to talk to. Let's do this. Maybe she should have waited after them. But now I'm here. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? That letter? What? This was handed to you by Lady Mitra? I don't know any Lady Mitra. But thanks. I was exchanging letters to someone very dear to me, but the letters just stopped one day. I wanted to meet them so bad. I should go back to Athelum, tell the Lady Mitra I said thanks. Was that it? That was the whole quest. Welcome back. I'm glad to see you safe and sound. Were you able to deliver a little letter? Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. There are so many people in need of helping hand out there. If you come across these people, please hear them out. Helping those in need will help you too. You'll gain so much from it. The power to strengthen your will. Friends who risk their lives for you. History. Truth. Hope. Fear. Hate. You'll experience many things, both good and the bad, and it will help you grow as a person. I know you will take them to heart, and thus, you'll be able to control your fate. We shall meet again, someday. Alright, so that's just introducing us to side quests, I think. Say, you know the... that place, right? The Aflum Sorogen State, the two to the northwest and, the, and on the tip of the continent. Is that a hint to go there now? Aha! Right guys, in the meantime, I'm going to be ending this episode here, so it's getting a little bit too long. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully enough to leave a like on it, it really helps me out. Having said though, take care guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.